Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. DeFazio. Uh, I'm pleased to join my chair, the, Mr. Peter DeFazio, Ranking Member Graves, Subcommittee Ranking Member, my friend, Mr. Rouser, and bring to the floor H.R. 7776, the Water Resources Development Act of 2022. The Water Resources Development Act is our legislative committee commitment to investing in and protecting our communities from flooding events, restoring environment and ecosystems, and keeping our nation's competitiveness by supporting our ports and harbors. Through the biennial enactment of word art legislation, the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee has addressed local, regional, national needs through authorization of the new Army, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers project studies and policies that benefit every corner of the nation. We held four hearings in preparation for this bill, including a Member's Day hearing. We had a formal process to receive legislative policy and project ideas from members resulted in over 1,500 ideas, 1,500 submitted to us by members. So that is quite an accomplishment for our staff to go through. I heartily thank all members for engaging in the committee with the committee on this bill and advocating for the needs of your district. We are able to incorporate most of the requests from the members into the bill. I am particularly thankful that we were able to make a commitment to this word of, thank God, the fifth word, to address the needs of tribal and disadvantaged communities. The bill requires the Army Corps of Engineers to improve outreach to these communities by creating liaison programs in each core district region across the country. That's new. WERDA includes provisions to develop technical assistance programs that provide guidance to tribal communities on water resources projects, identify opportunities and challenges on existing core projects, and providing planning assistance for future projects. The bill gives core personnel the training and tools to effectively address issues on tribal lands of ancestral, historic, and cultural differences, including burial grounds. WERDA also <coughs> continues the effort we started over 10 years ago to improve water supply at the core dams by addressing managed aquifer replenishment so that dams can hold water for recharge to local groundwater basins. The bill addresses buildup and removal of sediments in reservoirs to improve the operations and capacity of the dams. The bill requires the course to take a particular focus on infrastructure in the West to evaluate opportunities to improve water management, water supply, and address the impacts of climate change. Section 116 of the bill continu continues Congress's goal of improving dam safety by assessing the status of all dams maintained by the Corps and determining the needs for rehabilitation, retrofit, and removal. Section 128 of the bill is a bipartisan legislation. My good friend, Ranking Member Rouser, and I introduced titled HR 7762, the Army Corps of Engineers Military Personnel Augmentation Act it amends an outdated 1956 law, which is prohibited against current soldiers who have technical skills to provide engineering support to the Civil Works mission of the Army Corps. In 1956, there were not a lot of NCOs with advanced degrees, so it was presumed that only commissioned officers would be properly trained to handle Civil Works responsibilities. However, since that time in the development of the professional Army, there are many NCOs National Guard officers and warrant officers with advanced engineering and technical skills, and no longer makes sense to exclude them for procedures and civil work. The change is supported by the Secretary of the Army, Chief of Engineers, and the National Guard Association of the United States. The bill also provides for hundreds of local concerns throughout the country, and I'm proud that this bill transfers the authorization of 31 debris basins in my region, Los Angeles County <coughs> Flood Control District. These debris basins are locally owned and have been successfully operated and maintained by the county of Los Angeles for decades. The provision will formalize the current operation of these debris basins. WERDA includes authorizations for the development of storm, stormwater, sewer, and ecosystems restoration projects in the Sagraville Valley and Greater Los Angeles County. It will improve flood protection and boost local water supply, and at the same time, by, by investing in spreading grounds dam infrastructure and treatment operations. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the many people who helped this bill become a reality. Thank you to the leadership at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Assistant Secretary Connor, Lieutenant General Spellman, their incredible staff who have worked through over a thousand submissions we received on WARDA 2022. 
I'm very fortunate to have some of the best water leaders in the country in my district in Southern California who provided valuable input for this, including Colonel Julie Bolton and David Van Dorp of Los Angeles District, the Los Angeles County Supervisor. Gentlewoman's time has expired. I don't have any more time. I urge my colleagues to support 2022.